and welcome to Joseph's News. I am Noha Nasim and this week's episode is special to our hearts as we celebrate Onam. If we go by the Malayalam calendar, the annual harvest festival of Kerala, Onam is celebrated for 10 long days. Starting on the 1st of September, the Malayalis of Kerala began the Onam celebrations this month. The festival will conclude on the 13th of September. It is celebrated by Malayalis across the world as a cultural festival. The day pays homage to the homecoming of King Mahabali, also known as Maveli, the grandson of Prahladin. The, for the duration of 10 whole days during which Malayalis celebrate Onam, certain dates are seen as more important. This year, the important days will fall from the 10th to the 13th of September. They are meant to have a significant role in the overall celebrations. Observed as first Onam or Uttradam, September 10th celebrates the return of King Mahabali to Kerala. The second, September 11th, is the day when King Mahabali returned and paid visit to the homes of all the people living in Kerala. This second day is named as Thiru Onam, which basically means Sacred Onam Day. Avitam is the third important day of Onam, which is celebrated on September 12th. This is the day when everyone is preparing for King Mahabali's departure. Chadayam is the fourth and final day of Onam, which will be celebrated on September 13th this year. The festival of Onam is one of the most auspicious festivals for Malayalis and is celebrated with a lot of gusto in Kerala. People celebrate it by participating in some friendly snake boat races, tiger plays to Kumatikali, and not to forget a delicious sadhya is followed and a couple of other activities. Malayalis also enjoy having elaborate feast as well as flower decorations or pukalam to celebrate it with lots of zeal. Over to our campus correspondent Anjali Menon to tell us more about how Malayalis celebrate Onam outside Kerala. Hi, this is Anjali Menon for Joseph's News. Today we'll see what the students of St. Joseph's have got to say about celebrating Onam away from home. Today we have with us Anna Thomas from first year Moscow. She will share her experience on celebrating Onam in Bangalore. Hi Anna. Hi. So uh, this is the first time I'm celebrating Onam away from my family. And uh, so it, it would obviously not be uh, as good as celebrating it back home. Because uh, usually back in Kerala, Onam starts way before the actual festival, 10 days before. And then lots of relatives come home with a lot of delicacies. And then there is the famous 28 post Sathya, which I'm missing out. Uh, because I live in a country and there's no one to cook sadhya for me. So I'll probably order sadhya from Swiggy, but it'll obviously not match up to what my mother makes. And then uh, the traditional games and everything, and the uh, art of food, uh, making kokala, all that I'm missing out on everything this year. But somehow I think I'll celebrate one with my friends and I hope it will be as good as what I did celebrate last year. Now we are in conversation with Ananya Mariam of First Year Moscow. It's her first time celebrating Onam away from home. Let's see what she has got to say about Onam. Happy Onam first of all. And uh, Onam is a very beautiful festival when it's with your family. So being away from home for the first time, I really feel a bit uh, out of place uh, because in the morning you get up, you do all the, you know, uh, kari, the, the kukalam that we say in Malayalam. And then my mom just sent me a picture telling her about how uh, you know she was doing it without me for the first time. So I really feel out of place and I wish that you know I was at home. I could have had a Pony Sadhya and also you know taken part in most of the festivities that take place. So uh, being out away from home, home is a very hard thing and I hope that next year at least I'm there with my family to celebrate on. Now we are in conversation with Shruti Sunil, first year Big Data. Let's see what she has to say about Onam. Uh, so Onam has nothing, has basically been nothing but you know fun for me. Uh, growing up here, I have not really celebrated Onam in Kerala. So I have I've had all of my cousins, uncles, aunts, all of them meeting up in one place. And we have the general pukulam. We have the general pukulam that we all put up in front of our houses. 
and we have the traditional sapya and this is the occasion where we all dress up in our Nadam clothes. We have the Munda Veshti and the men wear the Munda and it's basically just a festival where all of us get together and uh, I don't know, this, I have been told from my childhood that we have King Mahabali coming in to our houses probably during the afternoons or evenings and he comes and he blesses us and that's how our occasion is here. So here we have Teresa Ma from the Department of Economics reminiscing her childhood experience of Onam. Hello, uh, Onam was always uh, you know, a pleasant memory back home, you know, to spend with my cousins and neighbours. We would make Pukalam, have Sakya and then you know there are all sorts of games and it was very pleasant memory. Even now I uh, cherish it very much. Thank you Anjali. We can see how excited everyone is about Onam. We shall now see how St. Joseph's College Bangalore celebrated Onam with the same excitement. Today, we are celebrating this festival in St. Joseph's College, which has become a mini Kerala Kingdom of Bangalore. Today, we have
saris were actually from outside the state of Kerala. That is our peculiarity of this festival. It's a music festival where everybody is welcome to join in this festivities. There is no class, community or caste or creed while celebrating this festival. Happy Onam and thank you. Ella Varkum Nyangalode Onasam Sagal.